Windows are an important part of the efficiency and comfort in a home. They typically make up a small portion of a home's building envelope. However, they can be the reason for a large percentage of heat loss. Let's see what windows are all about. It is important to understand how a window reacts with its environment through physics. Windows transfer heat in three ways. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction happens when thermal energy passes directly through the materials that make up the frame and glass of the window. Heat will move from the warmer side of the window toward the colder side. The larger the temperature difference, the more the heat wants to move. We call this heat loss in the winter and heat gain in the summer. A window's efficiency is benchmarked by its ability to transfer heat. This is called the U-factor. The lower the U-factor, the better it is at separating temperatures by conduction. In comparison, insulation is measured by R-value or its ability to resist the flow of heat. Good windows are in the range of 0.18 to 0.30 U-factor. Windows are tested and certified by the National Fenestration Rating Council, or NFRC, to determine their performance rating. Every window receives a sticker from the manufacturer that states its rating. Fenestration is a specific word for the arrangement and design of windows in a building. To understand the effect a window has on a home, imagine you have a 100-square-foot wall with R20 insulation, which gives it a U-value of 0.05. Now, picture a double-pane vinyl-framed window, taking up 15 square feet of that wall, boasting a U-value of 0.50. With the remaining 85 square feet of solid wall, you might be surprised to learn just how much heat that window can let escape. Even though the window only makes up 15% of the entire wall, it accounts for a whopping 64% of the total heat loss. That's right, this small section is a major culprit in energy inefficiency. This wall has an effective R value of 8.5, much lower than the R20 of the insulated wall. If we replace the window with an energy efficiency unit that has performance-enhancing improvements like low-E glass, argon gas in the space between the panes, and insulated frames, the calculation shows a substantial improvement. This wall assembly has an effective R value of 11.8, a nearly 40% improvement in the effectiveness of the overall wall assembly. When working on exterior wall insulation, Pairing new window upgrades is always a recommended component of improving the comfort of the home. Windows can be a weak point in the wall assembly, and they work together to help make the home a comfortable living space. Making sure the window is airtight is another important part of manufacturing and installation. Convection is the transfer of thermal energy by air leaks through and around the window. This is felt through drafty moving air and becomes a significant comfort issue as well as a source for heat loss. Selecting a well-constructed window is the first step, and with proper installation, using sprayed foam between the window and wall framing, seals the deal to keep air out. The NFRC label includes an air leakage rating with a zero to one scale, where the lower the number, the tighter and more comfortable the window will be. The last way that windows are rated on performance is by radiation. This usually comes in the form of heat gain from the sun. Many windows come with a solar heat reflecting film. This helps reflect radiation back to the outdoors rather than heating up a room in the summer. Solar heat gain coefficient, SHGC, which runs from a scale of zero to one, is a measure of the ability a window has to block the heat from the sun. The lower the number, the better the window will block heat. Different regions have different requirements for solar heat gain. A house in the north without southern-facing windows may benefit from a higher SHGC rating, while a home in the south will most likely want to keep the sun out of the home through the year. In a home that has air conditioning, having a lower SHGC can have a major impact on energy use because solar heat gain can be the reason for as much as 50% of the cooling load needed in the home. The NFRC label also includes a visible transmittance rating using a 1 to 100 scale to indicate the amount of visible light that can pass through the glazing. 
A larger number indicates more visible light can pass through the window glazing. This is directly related to the rating of the SHGC. So, next time while working on exterior wall insulation or making upgrades to the exterior of the home, consider pairing new windows with these other upgrades to improve the comfort of the home.